Alright, so I have in my hand here is a CZP09. It's based on the CZP09 from obviously CZ. It's a full size, uh, kind of like a duty pistol. Uh, what's cool about this is that it can take CO2 or gas magazines. All you gotta do is swap up the mag. Um, and for those of you who kind of know a little bit about the history of gas guns, we had the help of Tommy Okoba in developing this. Uh, so you know, internally, it's actually very different. It, it was kind of tricky fitting all the all the kind of like all the blowback units and everything into such a small slide. But you know, we did it, and it's a great gun, reliable indoor outdoor performer, and it fits great in the hand. So it's a metal slide, of course. Metal slide, yes. I like the serration and the grip right here. Mm -hmm. It's very good. Nice and crisp. Mm. It's good. Brian approves. Okay, let's look at, let's go a little bigger. Okay. We have the Evo. Yeah, yeah, so I mean the Evo, kind of everyone following it. It's been released, but uh, we're slowly kind of releasing more accessories and things for it. Uh, starting from front to back. Uh, front, we have our uh, B&T uh, licensed uh, barrel extension to it. Uh, you know, full metal, quick detach, and actually comes with a flash cutter, so now we kind of have a complete unit. Some Evo specific accessories, we have the uh, hand stop in the front, because it's a short gun on the real one, you kind of have something that needs to, you need something to stop your hand from slipping over the, you know, the muzzle when you're firing it. Uh, this is actually really new, we shot off a shot shell that's available now. It's called the Hero 4 Grip, made in Germany from uh, the same polymer, fiberglass reinforced polymer that they use for the real version. It's got a little Skittles compartment on the bottom. Them to store your battlefield nutrition needs. Um, and then we just threw some of our folding flip up sites on here, as well as a reflex uh, reflex site. Just pop up, picky, they're very clicky. And fiber glass. The, floor of the front is, uh, is fiber optic, so it's all glowy, it's all fancy. And you know, that's our Evo. A lot's been said about it, and just to repeat, it's great for CQB, but it's also great for outdoors because of the completely redone uh, compression, like linear the compression system. And three round burst, you know, made in Europe, all that stuff has all been said, and this gun just keeps proving itself out on the airsoft today. Okay, here we have the new M40 A3, correct? Correct, it's a new M40 A3 uh, with Macmillan licensing because, you know, it's got that kind of quintessential Macmillan stock on it with the uh, with that really interesting vertical grip, that really aggressive texturing for yes. you know, a really good cam feel. And uh, this thing is solid. I mean, the body is polymer, but it's just like in the real one. And it's a really dense polymer, you know, it's not, it's not light, it's not cheap, it's really good. The uh, cheek rest here is adjustable for, for height, and it's actually a rubberized aluminum. So again, it's really dense, really heavy, feels nice. It's all grippy. Uh, the cylinder itself is actually a, uh, a pin steel cylinder. So it's one of those things where people kind of upgrade out of the box. Well, for this one, you know, the cylinder... Uh, it's ready to go. Yeah, exactly, it's ready to go. Maybe if you want to up the, up, up the muzzle velocity, put in a new spring, but... you know, It's not going to break. Exactly, exactly. And what's this right here, these cutouts? All right, so these cutouts is kind of like a sneak peek towards what we have coming next. Uh, this is actually for the uh, rail that will allow you to turn this into an M40A5. Ooh. It's, uh, you pop the uh, entire barrel assembly out, you put in the rail, you can have a side, side, and a top rail, you know, you can put uh, whatever, your your lasers, your, your cameras, anything you need on there, and then we're also going to be coming out with a threaded tip adapter, so that way you can put that big muzzle brake that the A5 has. Nice. Yeah, but otherwise, you know, kind of like that classic quintessential uh, And then for the rifle. mag. Oh yes, for the mag. So the mag, if you notice, it's it's more of the more modern designs where the mag is actually located where it's supposed to be. It uses these little tiny 20 rounders, which are, uh, let's tilt it forward a little bit, small, compact, you know, really easy to store, and then to load it, you just slide it in until it stops, click it back, and you're good to go. And your hop-up's here. Yeah, exactly. A big, nice hop-up adjustment dial, so no, no little lever, no hex key to turn, even with glove and hands. And it clicks. That's it's nice. That's good. It's grippy, it's clicky, you know. Good, good. Exciting gun. Okay. Okay, now I'm Rambo. Tell me more, I need this. Alright, so this is our US Ordnance M60 A4. This is kind of like the most modernized version of the M60 available right now. I believe the Norwegian uh, Armed Forces actually picked this up as their new uh, support weapon. It's really cool, it's got a quick change spring gearbox. And it's all, you know, stored back here, kind of like with all your standard LMGs. It actually comes with a dummy belt, which is nice. Nice. Uh, so the gearbox itself actually has two modes. If you notice this tab, you can actually press 
press in the spring guide forward to a deeper position that will increase your muzzle velocity at the cost of your uh, rate of fire. Or if you return it to its default state, you'll get a slightly lower muzzle velocity, but obviously a uh, higher rate of fire. And, you know, spring is very quick change. You just press a button down, the plug pops out, put in a new one, and you're good to go. And this is for the box mag, correct? Exactly. So what's one of my favorite things about this gun is that on the box mag, it doesn't use a separate battery. You plug in the, uh, the little connector to a connector in the box mag. Whenever you pull the trigger of the gun, it automatically winds the box mag and loads the BBs. So you don't have to have a sound activated box. You don't need, you know, some kind of manual one. Yeah, here. flawless feeding. Every time you pull the trigger, you're going to shoot. Exactly, exactly. No, no need to, like, wind the, uh, the box mag during the loads and uh, air something. That's good. And then uh, available also is we have actually have a rail feed tray cover. That's an aftermarket accessory for those. You know, kind of with, with the LMG, you don't necessarily need to aim, but it, it's there if you want it. Comes with a tack handle, correct? Exactly, comes with a handle. So tack handle, rails, 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 bipod, sling loop, which is metal, mm -hmm. sling loop metal, so you can carry this one hand and belt. So, mm. solid. Uh, Flip up down sight. Okay, Bob, thank you for the rundown of all this cool stuff. For more information, go ahead and check out actionsportgames.com. See you guys. Peace out.